What's up guys, Mr. Tech Gamer, welcome back to what feels like part 30 of our Gary's Mod tutorials, but a lot of you guys have been requesting a tutorial on how to change your maps, and I feel that this is obviously very important to some of you guys, because I'm sure if you're creating a dark RP server or a sandbox server, you don't want to be playing on the default maps, which are GM underscore construct, and I think it's GM underscore flatgrass. But, um, anyway, very simple tutorial, very simple for you guys to do, this shouldn't take a long time, and of course it's a lot easier to make a video about it than just commenting saying this is how you do it because I'm sure a video rather than the text I personally find the visuals to be easier for me instead of just reading some guy's reply and how to do it but enough of me talking let's just get straight into this tutorial okay so a couple things you will need for this tutorial is the GM extractor I will leave a link down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and grab this you guys may or may not have it from the last time you used it maybe not too sure but I will leave a download link in the description so get that going and that's pretty much it so I guess we'll get straight into it so uh, first what you guys are going to want to do is find the map so I just went on the the uh, market the month marketplace the uh, workshop and let's just say, for example, I want to have this GM underscore bathhouse as my sandbox or as, just as my server map. So what you would do is subscribe to it. And for it to be downloaded, you have to launch Gary's Mod so it initializes and it downloads. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Gary's Mod, get it all initialized, and we will go from there. We are back. So once you have your map all installed, the next thing what you guys are going to want to do is go into your Gary's Mod um, your Gary's Mod directory, which is usually in your uh, C drive. Mine just so happens to be in my D drive. Program X Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Gary's Mod. And once you are here, what you guys are going to want to do is go into your add ons and find the map. So let's just say again, mine was the bathhouse one or bathtub, I, I forget already. Bathhouse. So this is the, this is, this is the add on the uh, add-on that we want the map so uh, keep in mind guys also uh, the files might look different to you because I, I using a different program here to, to show my add-ons so uh, if it's a little bit different then don't worry about it it's, it's it's basically the same in fact it is the same so copy this file that the map that you want so yours might be I don't know GM underscore big city right there GM underscore flat grass which is obviously a default map, so it's not going to be there. But just grab your map, copy it, paste it to your desktop, like so. And what we're going to do now is create a new folder on our desktop. And there we are. So we got a new folder. So now what we're going to do is fire up that GMAT extractor. Remember that program that we used to extract add ons from the previous video of how to put add ons in your server? Well, we're using the same program. So. We'll go ahead and launch at the program, open her up, and click on open, click on browse, browse to your desktop, so again, ours I dragged to my desktop, so it's right over here, click on the ID, or the add-on, click on select, and then it's going to basically sort of extract it, and then click extract all, and we're just going to paste this in the new folder. And then it should say success. Out on was ex uh, extracted su successfully. And we can close out a GMAT extractor and close that. And in the new folder, go into maps and then this BSP file. Very important, you guys. This is very important. What you have to do is copy this. So control C, right click, copy, whatever. You gotta make sure they copy this. Now we're going to have to go to our Gary's Mod server directory. So mine is in my D drive, Gary's Mod, and then this is my server. So you want to go into your Gary's Mod. You want to go into your um, your maps right here. Uh, go down and just paste the map. So control V, right click, paste, whatever. So now you have this here. So once it is paste, this means it is now installed in the maps section of the server so you're able to change the map so if you don't want bathhouse you're able to go into ULX 
and change the map from there or use server commands whatever so right click on this and you want to make sure you copy this this name of the map so mine again just happens to be gm underscore bathhouse you got to make sure you copy that now don't copy the dog bsp that's that's the extension file don't don't play around with that just copy the gm underscore bathhouse or again whatever the name of your map is and you want to go into your server directory and go to the home where you start your scr your c your srcds is basically the main hub for your server you want to right click on that start dump bat and edit it and now where it says the map you're going to paste that like this so now we have our, our map all here and we are going to save that so now we are basically done so what we're going to do now is fire up this, this uh here's mod server and we're going to hop into our server and we're going to look we're, we're going to see how it looks alrighty guys welcome back so uh if you do that correctly or if you do the map installation correctly then you do and you rename it in the start.bat correctly as soon as you join your server you should be automatically brought on the map so Basically, this is the map that's installed. So I originally had GM underscore big city However, I changed it to this map just to obviously show you guys how to do it So hopefully that worked for you if it didn't then leave a comment and I will try my best to help you out um, I'll see what I can do to help you because it's you know if someone gives me an error code I can't really distinguish it. I can't really identify it that well because I, I rarely ever get error codes. If you do get an error code, make sure you're running on an admi a, uh, administrator account because I find that if you are not on an administrator account, you get a lot more errors. I don't know why, you know, files sometimes require administrative privileges for, to work properly in programs and executive files, but I mean, that's pretty much the tutorial. I mean, it should work for you guys. Hopefully this, you know, helps a lot of you guys. I hope. But that's the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching again. If you run into any problems or whatever, try my, try my best to help me out. Help you out if you comment down below or PM me. And if this video did help you, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe for more future tutorials. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.